morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of commander outdoors and we are doing a one year review so we we've, we've had this dad's had this machine now for a little over a year and as you're going to find out it's not all sunshine and rainbows we're going to go over some of the problems and but before we get to that we're going to go over what he's done to this machine just so you know if you're looking at an xtp what will actually come with it and what won't so let's just get this over with super quick the tires and rims Dad upgraded their Super Grip K9 tires, 30 by 10 on Bullite wheels. And if you think these wheels look good, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a giveaway real soon where you have a chance to win a set of these rims for completely free, for nothing. Just stay tuned for that. Anyways, he's got the halos on the front that actually go to the sound of your voice. So if you're in here having a conversation and you talk quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker, the lights should go quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing that, though. They are. Uh, he's added the power folding windshield, LED light bar up front, these two LED pod lights up front, angled corner protectors, fender flare extensions, rock sliders with some custom fab work done to them, these decorative checker plate pieces, a whole bunch of goodies on the inside of the machine in terms of lighting and all the controls coming up here on this. Um, this is the overhead switch panel that BRP sells. It's kind of a must-have if you want to get into more uh, lighting and all sorts of different electronics. Over on the left, he's got the MTX sound bar up top, and it works really well with the whips and the rock lights because uh, the microphone and the iPod controls how the whips and rock lights flash, so they kind of match the music. It's actually really cool. Obviously, the whips. Snorkeled. It's fully snorkeled. Reverse lights, LED lights there that are uh, just to help you see shit at night, back up, all that stuff. The second level cargo rack, link boxes. This is the tailgate extender that's just folded down right now. The back bumper and this custom diamond plate, uh, just steps, step protectors. It's also like a trim thing, it looks good. And then also on both sides here, he's added this like line X and added this um, extra piece of plastic to the mud guards and this here is a port that was added so you can plug in a battery tender and keep it charged all the time so i think i've done pretty much all the custom stuff so that's everything that you will not get if you buy an xtp from the factory but that's not to say the xtp is anything bad from the factory either okay so now i'm here with dad who actually owns this machine i've never driven it on a trail but i figured it would be prudent to have him in the video seeing as he's the one who actually has to deal with these problems not me so right away the first thing i want to ask you is why you chose to upgrade to this one when you had the 2016 first of all why'd you do that the other one needed an oil change <laughs> it was easier than getting an oil change <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke for you commander owners there. Um, no, seriously, um, I saw a picture of this thing and, and how can you not want one? Yeah. It's just, it, it looks good. Um, you know, better suspension, more movement. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I was in a position to do it, so I thought, okay, yep. let's just jump on that and, and, and get her done. So you had said that it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows no what no, was your what was your first problem no it's not no not necessarily a problem but it, it, it is irritating i i do not like the mirrors i don't like the mirrors i wish i wish at least one of the side mirrors or the uh, uh the the uh the one in the middle was gave you the true view not convex yeah well, they're all convex, um, okay. everything is distorted and don't like that a whole lot. Well, you can change no, the mirror. Well, so sure, I can, can, but I, I paid a, a small fortune for these, eh? So yeah, that's true. So now I'm stuck with them, right? Okay. You no, know, it's not. It's not huge, but that's it a is a thing. Yeah. So also, if <laughs> if you're new to BRP, the complaint would be the same for Maverick Sport or Maverick Trail because they're all the same mirrors. You can't see anything out of them. No, you can't see. And you've got to have I, the I, rear I, camera or the forward camera. I can say the same thing because I had side mirrors on mine. And it was also convex. When you have the helmet on and goggles, they're so small. You you find you have to like, what is there actually someone back there? What the hell is that? You have to get really close. So well, actually, the mirrors on that one were bigger. They're bigger, but it was these, still the same yeah. issue. And these ones are smaller. And yeah. I just I I don't like them. Not practical. Yeah. Uh, the other one, this is probably the biggest one. Is the 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 uh, when you're sitting in the machine, 
and you're trying to look back, the uh, uh, there's no visibility. Like, yeah, it's zero. Really, really hard. You're sitting in there. You're you're fighting. Yeah. So then you're dealing with the mirrors, which don't give you a real accurate uh, view. So that is a is a is a definite negative. And I, you know, I don't think these machines are the only ones that have that problem. I think most of them, the, the rider sits fairly low. Yeah. The backside is fairly high. Yeah, You're well, just... and you have snorkels too, right? Which would obviously magnify um, that problem a slight bit. Yeah. Yeah, and then if I do load up the, the, the secondary uh, level on that. Yeah. You're done. You guess. Yeah. <laughs> hope for the best. John said the only way he says it sees out of his razor is the rear camera. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, we were talking Which, about that. <laughs> well, we had a demo, so when we had the demo X3 on this yeah. channel, it was equipped with the rear view uh, mirror that had the camera in it, so you could see both a mirror and a camera yeah. out the back, and it was amazing. That was, would be. Was, that would be. That would be. The That's upgrade. your upgrade. But, yeah. yeah. Again, we're, we're thousands of dollars we're, in a we're, mirror. <laughs> we're looking at approval from the finance <laughs> on that one, and I think I, I, the, the frying pan would come out. Wow! I'd have another cut on my head. Yeah, so. yeah. You just bought mirrors. You need another mirror. Well, no, I just, I just spent six hundred bucks on the uh, on the halos and. and the, uh, the antennas are the whip, so I, yeah, yeah, you know, tread lightly, Adds up. I guess. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> wait till Christmas for that one. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so one of the other ones, yeah, uh, the, the, the cup holders. Okay. Oh, I mean, yeah, they're brutal. I mean, that is open shot. the door. Oh, you know what? That's true. I, I can't even, I can't. I can't even cut BRP slack here because it's ridiculous. How is a cup supposed to sit in this little holder? Literally, like. <sighs> I'm trying to show you depth, but it's very difficult. <laughs> and sits about my half my finger in there. Like it's not deep at all. Yeah. Yeah. I, and it's, it's just and and it's, it's on the floor. In general, yeah. It's like it's right by your foot. You go in any deep water. It's your, gonna your float drink up. It's either gonna float or get contaminated. Yeah. And I again I understand because there's no other place for a cup holder except somewhere on the dash, maybe. But here's the thing, they move the center engine. Does that not give space in there it's, for yeah, a center console? It keeps the seating positions tighter. Oh, because of so that. the machine is it smaller? Yeah. So the cab is a little tighter. The, the cab than is, okay. yeah, the cab is narrower, but the wheelbase or wheel width is still the same. Okay. So okay. Do it for more stability. Okay. Here we go. Now so, we got the answer to the cup holders. I'd like to know all the problems. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure these folks on YouTube would love to know well, all no, the problems. Well, no, those are those are issues that you know they're not they're not great. Uh, so they're what you would call those are inconvenient items yeah. that are like they bother you, but it's not like you want to burn down the machine. Oh, because okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just send it all back. No, and, and I don't think any manufacturer has everything you know right perfect. On, everything perfect. No. Um, positions for for extra switches. They give you the two cutouts on the on the center console, and that's yeah. it. Or you, well, you, or you can buy the the overhead console for you know half a million bucks. Well, <laughs> most people don't go to the extreme of lighting that you do. Though. They don't. No. <laughs> and I think most people on YouTube would agree with that. Not everyone has rock lights, seven light bars, different lights everywhere, whips, dome lights. You know, you got lights. And a horn. And a horn. And a horn. And a horn. <laughs> that's safety. Products. <laughs> so that, you know, when you look at, uh, you know, the, uh, some of the other manufacturers, they've got a million cutouts for, for, uh, for switches. So it's a nice thing. Okay. Not a, not a deal breaker, but it's a nice thing. Yeah. And finally, um, the original tires, you know, when I, when I saw them, I thought they were okay, but the, 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 the rubber itself, it never, I always thought it should have been a little more aggressive. Yeah. Okay. I and, thought that too when I saw them. And the rims. Again, first when I saw them, I, I, I thought, oh, they're not bad. You know, the orange, I thought, nah, they're, they're okay. They're a very basic, cheap rim. Yeah. They are a beadlock, but they are a cheap rim. Your bolts thread into the aluminum, which is bad. It's just not a good mm -hmm. thing. You should never do that. Uh, the bullite rims here, they've got stainless inserts. Yeah. So, uh, well, first of all, they look much nicer. Yeah. Um, the rubber, obviously, the uh, the canines are, are not super aggressive, but a lot more aggressive than the, the stock tires. Yeah. And I can see they perform a whole lot better. You can actually, when you're riding, you feel a whole lot more confident. I, I've noticed that, too. I've noticed when we're out together, because I have, for those of you who don't know, if you're just stopping by the channel to watch this video, I also have a commander. 
and on mine I'm running 30 inch XTR 370s by System 3 off-road and I've noticed on certain muddy locations where I'll be spinning a little bit to get through yeah. but I'll make it through yeah you don't spin you still maintain traction yeah. and just keep on trucking right through out no, of the hole I noticed the difference and yeah. the, the other thing is the uh the distance the distance from the from the rubber to the uh to the rim yeah I mean these are sucked in a bit which is what you want yeah that is that's the ideal thing you want on the stock ones you're really close so yeah I noticed that too the oh. b-block ring so guys what what we're getting at is the b-block ring and where the tire bulges out you can see here that the rim if the if the machine was to drive alongside a curb the tire would scrape and the rim wouldn't you can't see the rim there you can't see the rim and then the can-am the original uh xtp rims the orange ones you would have scraped the rim because the tire didn't protrude out enough and the tire didn't even have aggressive sidewall lugs on it no it really was a kind of a one trick pony tire like it was like a rock crawling tire and that's pretty much it, it a lot of times it didn't make you feel that confident yeah you know they needed a little bit more yeah. no it's okay but it's not awesome the, mach it's, the machine is capable of doing a lot but you also yeah. need to put the proper rubber on them it's typical though for yeah. stock tires on machines they're never that good now those are those are all you know basically fairly minor gripes yeah uh is that a game changer no i would still buy it no, but you had some mechanical problems, didn't you, with your A-arm bushings and, um, and some stuff like that? I just, just very recently on a ride, uh, I was starting to get some noise, and uh, uh, it didn't appear to be the, anything to do with the driveline at all. So I uh, just did a little exploratory surgery there the other day, and I noticed one of the, uh, um, what do you call them, the, the links there, the short pieces on the uh, yeah. sway bar, sway bar links? Yep. Uh, it was actually, you could hear metal to metal when, okay. I was, when I was moving it up and down, so... Wow. But the plan was to take it off anyhow, so it's gone now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. That's good. Minor, you know, not a, not a big thing. I've, you know, you hear other machines have similar issues with the, with the, uh, the sway bar links. Um, and the windshield, it, it's, uh, it still needs, uh, I'm waiting for a new one to come in, actually. So we'll see when on the power happens. windshield yeah yeah but again, it was so what was the problem with the power windshield uh when it's open one side is tight the other side bounces up and down okay yeah so not a good thing not good know. for hydraulics no, no well no not good for uh i mean once you have movement in anything that yeah. movement will only uh get bigger uh, uh um, what do you call it get bigger or or multiply mm -hmm. and for a well they're worth over 1500 bucks now Man, you want that thing not to last you a little while at least. Eh? Yeah, of course. But you know something? Um, it's it's comfortable. I, like, I like it. Um, it is a little tighter than the old Commander. Yep. You know, the old Commander, you do have a little bit more elbow room. But the benefit, I suppose, is if you're going in between trees, if you're leaning a little bit. Yeah, it's the same as the, a razor. The distance from the tire to the uh, top side of the cab you have a little bit so it's mm -hmm. not like it goes straight up so if you're tilting you're going to hit the tree mm -hmm. so you know it's a good and it's there's also the negative side it's a little tighter inside yeah so overall though you're 100 percent happy with this oh, absolutely. And, you'd, and you'd buy it again i would okay so for everyone on youtube what's your favorite feature your absolute favorite feature that this machine has feature well i'll tell you the one thing that really sticks out and it's something that you really Probably they don't take advantage of that often is the fact that the rear diff uh, disengages. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're in the bush and you've got a situation where you're really tight, you disengage that thing, and it, it, the turn you're able to make, the yeah. turning radius, oh my God, what a difference. And I don't tear up any of the gravel yeah. on here. Turning radius. If you watched my last <laughs> ride video, you know all about turning radius and why it's important. It makes a difference. It's huge. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. a that's a great feature. Yeah, um, I was thinking this. Every machine, every car, everything has that one little feature that it's not talked about that often, but it's actually wildly convenient. Well, folks, you heard it here first. One year later, some minor problems, but overall, it's a kick-ass machine. So that's all we've got for you. Rock hard, ride free, and I'll see you on the next one.